Hey, good afternoon and welcome back to Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. Justin Smith gonna debut the all new 2018 Sherry Ram Promaster nine passenger conversion van. But before we go any further, stop. I mean, seriously, pause the video. Check out our inventory at paulsherryconversionvans.com. At our website is where you're gonna see all these beautiful vans that we have in stock with up to 50 pictures and pricing on everything. That includes my pre-owned inventory. Now, back to this van right here. Now, this, this van, as I mentioned, is a 2018, absolutely gorgeous. My favorite color that we have to offer in the ProMaster. This is deep cherry red, folks. Um, a lot of you would refer to it as burgundy, maroon. Uh, Chrysler chose the deep cherry red um, name for this paint but absolutely gorgeous. Um, it has a metallic flake in it. It just really shines uh, super, super nice in the sun, um, which is crazy. We haven't seen the sun here in like six months, so I'm super excited. But moving along with this van, this van does feature an 18 inch black wheel. We do have chrome wheels. If you prefer going in a chrome uh, fashion, we can uh, definitely take care of that. Now, just like all the Pro Masters here at the dealership, everything is painted to match. Front bumper, mirrors, uh, door handles, ground effects. So we paint everything to color match the factory paint. Um, and before I go any further, if you already didn't know this, all of our Ram Pro Masters are front wheel drive. We do not feature an all wheel drive, but you do not need it. This thing weighs almost 10,000 pounds uh, with the weight of the engine over the drive wheels, excellent in all weather conditions. And not only that, it gives us the most interior space in the van segment. So moving forward, all of our vans do feature running boards on both sides. We do have 5% uh, limo tent glass in the back of all of our ProMaster vans to uh, give you the greatest amount of protection from the sun and also to ensure your privacy and paired up with the blinds that I'll show you on, it, on the inside. Uh, you can't go wrong with, with one of these vans. Now moving along to the back here, um, you know, this van does feature uh, a lot of uh, a lot of safety features from the factory, such as a rear backup camera located top dead center. We do have backup sensors on this van as well, as uh, and along with a tow package that can handle up to 5,100 pounds. Come along to the other side. Let's check this out. Okay, now we're on the curb side of the van. Uh, I want to demonstrate the, the entry and exit in one of our conversion vans. First off, all of our doors getting into the back of the conversion van are a manual sliding door. Um, a lot of you might wonder why they're not power. Um, if you need to have a power door, such as a mobility application, or maybe you just want a power door, feel free to give me a call. We do have that option available. But I tell you, this door, I literally can open it with my pinky, and they just get easier as time goes on, obviously after they break in. But this door is 50 inches wide, okay? And again, as I mentioned, being a front wheel drive van, that does a lot of things for us as far as the room category goes. Um, it gives us a lower entry than any van in the van segment. Our floor is only 21 inches off the ground. So you've got about a 10 inch step here and an 11 inch step here. Very easy to get in and out of, especially with this grab handle. And with a 50 inch wide door, the ProMaster is an excellent choice for mobility applications as well. So let's jump right in the back of this. And again, um, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get in and out of this van. I'm six foot two. Look how easy I can walk into this van. Perfect. Okay, now we're in the back of this van. The most exciting part about a conversion van. Everybody wants to know what kind of bells and whistles, what kind of seats are in it. So we're gonna jump right into that. Uh, we're gonna start off with our seats. Uh, back in 2015, we upgraded our seats to a, a wider, uh, more plush seat. Um, I'm sure you can tell in the video, these things are absolutely phenomenal. Um, not only are they gorgeous to look at, to touch, but man, I tell you, when you're sitting in one of these chairs, it's definitely first class. Um, and this is one of my favorite interior combinations. I mean, the tan and the black, uh, it's just a classic look um, that never gets old. So what we have here is four captain chairs in the back of this van being a nine passenger. And as you can see, they are all, the captain chairs all swivel, okay? And they do feature a power recline, uh, which is really nice, especially if you're trying to find that sweet spot. But while we're talking about the swivel captain chair, something that's very important as far as safety goes is where the seat belts are located. A lot of vans have them coming off the pillars, you know, down to uh, the receiver here. And that makes it really tough for young children um, 
to, to be able to buckle themselves up on their own. And with it being a swivel chair, we thought it was important to have the seat belt right in the chair. So no matter which way you're, you're facing in this chair, you're going to be safe and secure at all times. Now, for all the mothers out there that are always wanting to know if it has tether hooks and an anchor uh, position behind the seat, yes, it does. All of our captain chairs do have the tether hooks down here and the rear anchor, okay? The rear sofa does not. So the captain chairs have all that. Uh, and uh, not only will they recline, but you have the ability to slide them forward and back to adjust for more leg room, whichever aisle you might need it. Now the rear sofa is power as well. Our rear sofa is a two-piece power sofa, so it'll uh, slide forward and back uh, with one touch of the button and also have the ability to completely fold flat. Now paired up with our swivel captain chairs, you can turn those around, flatten the rear sofa, and that bed will accommodate somebody as tall as I am. So that works out really well. Now, now enough about the chairs, let's get into the electronics. Everybody wants to know what kind of uh, gizmos we have in the back of here and I tell you we didn't cut any corners in any of our vans we've got a rear radio in the back okay so what that means is the rear passengers can listen to their own music mom dad whoever's driving this van can listen to whatever they want on the front radio um, kids grandparents friends whoever's in the back of this van can uh, listen to their own music through this Bluetooth capable radio and um, we also include wireless headphones with all of our vans. So obviously you wouldn't want two things coming through the speakers at once. The rear passengers, if they want to listen to their own music, are going to uh, only be able to do that through the rear headphones. So the rear headphones uh, are going to be used for a rear music of your own choice or watching a movie uh, uh, while going down the road. So the watching a movie in one of these vans as far as the audio goes um, you have two options you do have the option to pump the the um, audio from the movie through the speakers to give you a true surround sound effect or you can listen to them through the wireless headphones now the tv in this van is a 32 inch vizio smart television it is a 240 hertz led television so it's the latest and greatest technology there uh, to ensure the best picture but with uh, being a smart TV, you have all the built-in uh, applications that we've gone um, familiar with using just about every day. YouTube, Netflix, Pandora, all that stuff's included in the TV. And this uh, entertainment package also f features uh, a Blu-ray player. Now, not only is it a Blu-ray player, it's a smart Blu-ray player. So the combination between the Blu-ray player and the TV, um, there's a wide variety of uh, applications that you can utilize while in motion. So really cool feature. And all that can be uh, used by turning on a Wi-Fi hotspot. If you got questions on how that works, feel free to give me a call and I can explain, <clears throat> excuse me, I can explain in better detail. Now the rear heat and air, the uh, controls for that are located right here on this wall, uh, easily access, accessible from this chair. This is a one step set and forget system. It does have an auto feature. So all you have to do is put it on auto mode. I'm sorry, I don't have it turned on for you guys, but uh, it has a little digital display to uh, show you what temperature you've uh, chosen. So you set the temperature, hit the auto button, and it's gonna do what it needs to do to get to that desired uh, temperature. Now, the control panel right here is going to do a few things for you. I don't know if you can see these lights here, but we have lights that go down the midway paint, uh, point of the wall that break, or break up. Can you tell I haven't done one of these in a while? But it does break up the tan and uh, black wall. You have the ability to turn that light off and the ability to turn the one that runs along the length of the ceiling. Also, your map lights that are included at every chair. Now, in addition to that, those toggle switches, you do have a 110 plug in here, two USB charging ports, and an HDMI input. So, you already know what that's for. Yes, you can bring along a video game system. Basically, anything that uses an HDMI uh, connectivity can be displayed on that 32-inch TV, and you can just plug whatever device, whether it's a laptop, game station, uh, right here, and, and uh, you're rocking and rolling going down the road. As I mentioned while we we're on the outside, um, I talked about the privacy glass. As you can see right here, I've got one of these blinds halfway pulled down. Uh, we do have privacy blinds on all the rear windows in the back, and they are back on this, uh, the recessed blinds behind this wall. So it, the contrast in this van is excellent. I think it's a really good look. Now, as far as storage goes, everybody wants to know how much storage is in this van. 
Behind the rear sofa, you've roughly got about 24 inches of storage deep. Um, you can push the, the sword, uh, the sword, the sofa forward to gain a couple additional inches. And of course, you can stack stuff all the way to the top of the back of, of the rear sofa. And also, all of our vans do feature overhead storage all the way around the top of the van. I believe there's six in, in uh, the high top, so um, there's plenty of storage all the way around the top for the little knick-knack items, umbrellas, uh, DVDs, remote controls, what have you, help keep the clutter off the floor. And that pretty much wraps up the inside of our nine passenger conversion van. Let's hop up to the front. Okay, now that we made our way up to the front, I wanna go over all the important features that are in the front of this ProMaster van, starting with the captain's chairs up front. As you'll notice that the same nice upholstery we have in the back, uh, the tan leather with the black piping. Now these chairs are fully adjustable do feature recline, lumbar, and factory heat. Um, not only are they an eight-way adjustable seat, but the armrests do adjust as well to stop in different points with this little roller on the bottom side of the armrest. So that's a pretty cool feature. Now, this van um, has all the modern uh, amenities that you would find in any modern car, such as uh, leather-wrapped steering wheel with hand controls on both sides of the uh, airbag. These features are gonna allow you to uh, navigate through your, your radio, um, give your uh, Uconnect 5.0 voice commands, uh, allow you to dial out, make phone calls hands-free. Um, so obviously it does have factory Bluetooth. Now moving over to that radio, as I mentioned, it is a Uconnect 5.0, touchscreen radio, does feature AM, FM radio, uh, satellite radio, and the navigation on, on this system is a TomTom -Tom interface. So a lot of you are already familiar with TomTom, uh, -Tom, very easy operating system. In this navigation radio on this five inch screen, that is where your image is gonna show up when you put this thing in reverse. So your backup camera is linked to the radio. Uh, other amenities up in the front of this van, um, you do have cruise control, um, power windows, uh, folding power mirrors, um, the mirrors are fully power, um, the blind spot mirrors are power, the top section of the mirror is power, and they also uh, feature heated glass, so uh, that's really nice. Um, traction control switches are up here, you've got fog lights, uh, keyless entry, and a telescopic steering wheel. So this thing is jam-packed not only in the back, up here in the front too, and uh, that concludes the inside of this 18 uh, Ram ProMaster nine passenger van. So I hope you enjoyed this video that we did here today for you at Paul Sherry Conversion Vans. I'm Justin Smith. Our website folks is paulsherryconversionvans.com. All of our new pre-owned inventory, clearly priced with about 50 pictures on there. And uh, if I didn't cover anything on this video, maybe you had some questions on this van, a different van you've seen on our website, or maybe something that you're looking to buy, please don't hesitate to call. Somebody's always around willing to answer all your questions. And for those of you that like the videos, we get a lot of compliments, so thank you for that. For those that like the videos that we do, we kindly ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and even like us on Facebook. That's gonna ensure you're not gonna miss out on the next great deal here at Paul Sherry Converge Events. Thanks again, have a great day.